speaking of the right way, what's the right way to take care of a camera when you're not using it? Uh, get a really good AC um, to take care of the camera on the sets. Because the camera's the least of my worries as a cinematographer when I'm on set. If I shoot a shot, like as soon as they say cut, I'm pretty much handing it off to someone else. I won't even want to look at it. I'm coordinating with the director and talking about the next scene with the technical department heads and all that stuff. The camera's the least of my worries. So I assume it's being taken care of by the great teams that I carry with me on my, my crews, uh, the ACs and the, the camera interns and all that. As far as owning a camera, I think um, just be careful with it, you know, like clean it as often as possible. Try not to put it in dangerous situations. Sometimes you can't avoid it. But if you do, do it smart and do it in a way that the camera is going to be as secure as possible. And I think, you know, if you can't afford to break your camera, don't put it in a bad situation. But if you can, if you can find yourself, you know, if it's important for the scene and you feel like it's, po if, you know, if it breaks a lens here and there or whatever, it's no big deal. Like, just like anything else, like in a, a movie, you know, a prop or a car crash, like sometimes you have to break something. You know, I don't look at a camera as like this super, like, you know, really fragile baby often. I put the camera in crazy situations sometimes, and that's the only way I can get the shot. But I'm also doing it confidently, knowing that I'm not going to do any damage to it. So far, I haven't had any accidents, but I feel like it really contributes to my style. Sometimes I'll put the camera like a foot off the ground for a car chase, you know. If you watch Michael Bay movies, he's breaking cameras all the time, smashing cameras in his whatever and putting the camera in dangerous places so that it can get the shot that he needs. I mean, a lot of people hate on Michael Bay, but that's pretty awesome that he does that because when you look at things a different way like that, you know, it opens up the door to a lot of different possibilities that you can do if you're super, like, you know, funny about your things. But again, if you are trying to take care of your camera and you are in a big, you know, a way, if you are in a situation where breaking it is a bad thing for you, um, you know, just keep it in a very protective case. I would say, like, I keep my camera in a hard metal box that it locks with like metal locks, mm -hmm. and it has um, memory foam inside of it. Super protective. I could throw that thing off a roof of a building and it'd be fine if I opened it back up. The box might be a little dented, but even the box would probably be fine. So that's the level of care that I put into my equipment. But I'm also, you know, riding out in a helicopter with the door open and hanging that thing out the window every now and then too. So it's, there's a balance there.